Welcome back. Today, we will be going over one of the most well-known topics in astronomy, nebulae. When you look up cool images of space, you are most likely to find photos of nebulae. In this video, we will be going over the science behind these gaseous beauties while pointing out some specifically mind-boggling nebulae. At a basic level, nebulae are condensed clouds of intergalactic dust floating in a somewhat controlled form. The dust particles are made of helium, hydrogen, and other ionized gases. Some of these nebulae are huge, much bigger than any planet one could imagine. A nebulae can be multiple light years in diameter. For example, the Tarantula Nebula has a diameter of 170,000 light years. By doing some simple math, we can derive that the diameter of the Tarantula Nebula is equal to 126 trillion, 74 billion, 4 million, and 300,000 Earth diameters. Unlike many distant objects in the galaxy, you can actually see the Orion Nebula with just your eyes. Despite the fact that it is very far away, its huge size allows it to seem twice as big as the moon. Nebula can form in a variety of ways. Some form through already existing gas that is in the interstellar medium, aka the empty space between solar systems and stars. Others are produced by stars that are in the late stages of stellar evolution. To learn more about stellar evolution, please watch our black holes video. Nebulae produced by stars can also be created due to supernova explosions where short-lived stars explode in a fiery and magnificent orchestra of colors and compounds. An example of a nebula formed by a supernova is the Crab Nebula. There are four types of nebula that scientists use to categorize and organize them. First are the diffuse types. Diffuse nebulae have no well-defined boundaries. The second category are planetary nebulae. These nebulae are gaseous shells that show the remnants of a low-mass star. This is due to the excited radiation of the dying star, thus pushing out the energy, creating a spherical glow. The third category is protoplanetary type. These nebulae are short-lived and due to a star's rapid stellar evolution between different phases. Lastly, the fourth and final category are supernova remnants, something we have already talked about. We would not be doing nebulae justice if we did not show you some more photos and videos. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please take the remaining time to witness nature's most beautiful spectacle, the nebula.